I swear I'm not a crackhead. Hey Foreverlies, it is Maddie and this is probably one of the most, the worst, the worst, hold on. This is a sheet just hanging up on my wall. I, why do I have subscribers? Okay, take two. Hey Foreverlies, it is just Maddie in this video. Today I am going to show y'all how I catfish people basically. <laughs> so, we are going to be doing my makeup, if you didn't get the hint. I used to have a really extreme makeup routine, like everything was super precise, everything was super expensive, everything was super just, took a long time. Like basically, you get the gist, I was really into makeup. I still love makeup, don't get me wrong, but ever since Everly's been a toddler, it has been increasingly hard for me to put makeup on. Me putting makeup on usually happens when I'm shotgun in the car on our way to do something. So, right now, Everly is not with me, obviously, so I'm going to take advantage of that by showing y'all how I do my makeup. Obviously, I start out by just putting a little headband on to get my hair out of my face. Y'all can finally see my true hairline. I know it's receding. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in real fast. It is Maddie from the future. I just wanted to let y'all know this video is sponsored. I have worked with this brand before, so you guys are probably familiar with it. It is Pinch Me. I have done a sponsorship with them before, and y'all all got mad at me because I said paint, pinch me instead of pinch me, but you know what? I'm Texan. We've got our own little dialect going on here. So, pinch me is a completely free service. Like, I was kind of skeptical at first because they said it's completely free, like no strings. So, I actually had my sister sign up and try it out, and it really is completely free. About every month, she gets a little... Sometimes she'll get like a little box, sometimes she'll get like just like a package with samples. It just depends on the month and how much you filled out on your member profile. But she literally gets it all for free. They haven't, they didn't even need to collect payment information, which is amazing. So every month a range of new samples are released on Sample Tuesday. I love that name, it's so cute. Um, they are all brand name products, which is true. Like literally I didn't think it would be brand name but I'm kind of jealous sometimes when my sister gets a box because she gets good stuff in it. And I have not, I have yet to go up, go on their website and sign up and fill out a profile, but trust me, I will be doing that soon because their stuff is awesome. Not everybody is guaranteed a sample box every month, but they do have great freebies that you can take advantage of. But without further ado, I'm going to show you all what was in my Peach Me box. Boxes typically only have three to six products, which is still a ton for free. I just got a wider range of products just to show y'all everything that you could get. So the first thing I have is a facial mask treatment. It's got an eye cream, moisturizing cream, a cleansing foam. I've got um, a roller lash sample. This is actually one of my favorite mascaras. I was so surprised to find this in my box. Um, then there is an eye solution. I've never, I mean, I think I've seen it. But it like it makes your eyes wider for like eye redness and it kind of like brightens them. Definitely gonna have to try that out. We've got a pack of hand and body wipes. Definitely gonna be using these for on the go with Everly because she is messy. We have also got I think this is full size. Wow, um, it's a mineral sunscreen lotion. Mineral sunscreen is actually the best sunscreen for skin conditions because the mineral sunscreen isn't absorbed into your skin, it just lays on top of your skin. So this is one of the best types of sunscreen if you have sensitive skin. I know because Everly has eczema and I use mineral sunscreen exclusively on her. We've also got some Tone It Down Blonde Leave-In Foam. I think this is just like a leave-in toner. I, I need that. We've got some yellow hair going on right now. I've also got, oh I got this one in my last box too. This is a little deodorant. I remember it smelling so good. Yep, it smells amazing. Then we've got a little milk makeup highlighter stick. I was so shocked to find this in my sample box. We have a Too Faced palette. It's just the Peaches and Cream matte palette. And then a Naked Basics 2 palette. I was so happy to find this. We have also got a deep moisture mask for your hair. A baby lips. I remember collecting these all the way through elementary school. We have also got a 10 in 1 primer, Main Magic. I think it, yeah, it's for your hair. This one is a Tarte Setting Mist. I actually have the mini of this one, so I'm assuming this is full size. That is awesome. And then last but not least, we also had some Sugaroo Glue, but guess who already used that? 
Um, it's like clay glue and um, you like mold it and it like solidifies into rubber. But I already used that. I was playing with it the other day, but it was in my box and Avi has received a sample of that as well completely for free. Pinch me. Thank you so much for sponsoring me. Make sure you check out the link in the description to sign up and get your own free products. Like seriously, free products. It's amazing. Um, make sure you let me know what you get in your pinch me box and DM me. Let me know. See if you got any of the same stuff as I did. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the rest of the video, which is going to be resuming now. My first official makeup routine step is putting on some primer. It is the Skin Tune Blur by Farsali. Probably not saying that right, but this is like the little things you see all over Instagram where people just squeeze it onto your face. You know, I had the Unicorn Essence one too. It was a lot easier to get out because like it wasn't as thick. And this one, this one's slim thick, so it is very hard to get out of this little bottle. Sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. Right now, we're getting like no primer and it looks like I just got back from a friggin... You probably know what I'm referencing. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna dump it out onto my hand. We don't, we don't have time for this. I just put this on my face and I rub it in. I pay special attention to the places where my pores are the worst. So basically, I just put a lot on my entire face. My foundation is way too dark for me right now, but that's no surprise really. I lose and gain tans really fast and I have been using some self tanner lately. And this one is the one I have been using while I am partially self tan. It's too dark for my self self tan, but like, I don't know. My face and my neck don't match my arms or my chest really. Actually, it matches my chest, I guess, but this part of me doesn't really tan. So I'm tan like this on some part of my body and on the rest, I'm just very pale. So I am just gonna be using my NARS Sheer Glow. So when I apply in like my little cheek and nose area, I am very light handed and I just use the leftovers from the bottom of my face because I like some of my freckles to like kind of show through. I don't know if y'all can tell I have freckles. This camera is very blurring with the lighting right now. But I do have some freckles just on my cheeks and my forehead and stuff. So I am light handed when I go near those because I feel like it makes me look kind of weird when I cover them up. I also no longer use concealer because I kept changing colors and it was just, it was just too much. <laughs> so, yeah, I just kind of like let my under eye bags hang out. They're not bothering anybody. I just put a little bit extra foundation under my eyes when I'm having those like really bad under eye bag days. take a milk makeup stick and this is just the blush in work with an E so I'm just gonna throw this on my finger just get a little bit of pigment and dot it on my cheeks and blend that out with my beauty blender the butt of it so it doesn't get like a ton of foundation I also put like a tiny bit on my nose <laughs> I don't know why I just saw it as a trend and now I like doing it so Next up, I am going to be doing my powder. I just used the Marc Jacobs Coconut Finish Line Powder, and this is just translucent. And I, when I open it up, I just like to make sure there's a little bit like on the top there so I can get a bunch on my beauty blender and put it under my eyes and just let it set for a minute while I apply the rest of my face. I wouldn't necessarily consider this baking because baking like takes a while but I do put this on first very heavily to let it set. And then I just take a little brush and dip it in my powder. Just apply that all over my face. 
I look so orange right now. Believe it or not, I don't even have a spray tan right now. I just, I'm just orange. <laughs> My face doesn't take makeup well without like a really good foundation and powder on it. <sighs> when it's not really good, it just kind of like splotches everywhere. Now I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze and just bronzing up my face. So that's exactly what I need. More orange. Just all the orange, y'all. <laughs> right here and on my forehead just a little bit I also bring it down my neck because I said before my neck does not tan so it needs a little bit of extra help so I don't look like my face is a different color from the rest of my body okay so after I bronze up a little bit I move on to some contour just very lightly I am just gonna be using the Kat Von D shade of light and I'm pretty sure this is just in light surprise surprise <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little bit have that crap off I'm just do a very thin layer I'm not trying to bronze anymore I'm just trying to add a little bit of depth so my face looks more small so I just do that on my cheekbones the very lowest part of my cheekbones and I do it around my face because I do have a little bit of chubby chin um, let me know what exercises I can do with my face to get rid of that because um, once I have the majority on, of it on, I blend it out with my powder brush, just so there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Now I am just grabbing a little fluffy brush and I'm going to add some contour to my nose because whenever I don't contour my nose, it tends to just kind of like pop out because it has all that foundation, so I just try to add like a little bit more depth back to that. <laughs> Now I'm just going to blend out my nose contour with my powder brush. I'm just going to go across my nose and add some powder just so it looks very tiny. Does it look like I have no nostrils yet? Now I'm going to put on a little bit more blush and this is just like a little mini that I got for a birthday present from Sephora. And I'm just going to apply it very lightly. Oh god, that one applies darker than my other one. Blend that out. It's okay. I used to spend literally like up to 30 minutes. Ew, this came out with a freaking lash attached to it. That's nasty. I used to spend like upwards to 30 minutes on my brows alone. But now, I have lost all respect for myself. So I just kind of throw a little bit of brow whiz and taupe onto my eyebrows. I always alternate between taupe and bronze, and blonde, not bronze, wow. Um, and right now I've been using taupe just because my roots are growing in my hair. My hair is kind of like a reddish taupey blondy color, and I just feel like this one matches my face better when my roots do grow in. My brows I just add in a little bit of color on top where the hairs are light and blend it out I used to be a big eyeshadow girl like I loved eyeshadow my brows look so uneven it's okay though because that's how they are naturally and we're natural here but lately it's just been I feel like it's been making my face look weird so I just take a little bit of my bronzer just to like add some more color to my eyes and put it on just like very lightly in my crease and upper crease and just like basically on my eye. I just don't put it in like my inner corner or anything. I just avoid my lid while applying this and my foundation powder just tends to look like a little bit of a lid color and it works out pretty well. I'm also going to apply a tiny bit of this just under my eyes. You know, I would usually switch up brushes but my brushes are way over there so. So we've got some eyeshadow, I'm starting to look a little bit more human, added that depth back to my face. And now I am going to move on to some mascara. Well first, before I do mascara, obviously I have to set my face. 
Okay, now we are set and I am going to put on some mascara. So I am constantly losing my mascaras. I usually use, I think it's Perversion by Urban Decay, but I lost it. So <laughs> we are using Roller Lash today. So once I curl those, I just add a layer of Roller Lash and I just kind of use this one for length and just curl. My lashes aren't the best at curling, so Roller Lash has helped me a lot with just helping them stay curled and look longer than they actually are because I have short little boy eyelashes. Actually, little boys usually have amazing eyelashes, so I guess I have short little girl eyelashes. Who decided that boys get to have long lashes? I just want to know. Okay, so I usually only use this one on my top lashes and I go over it with Perversion by Urban Decay but obviously I don't have that today and this one's a pretty good parallel. It just tends to flake off if you wear it for too long so this really isn't for long wear. For me at least, the waterproof version is amazing but the non-waterproof version is pretty flaky. So I'm just going to put this over the roller lash. I don't know if I already said but I am using Better Than Sex by Too Faced. This is a long time favorite. It's a really good mascara, but it does flake off and you have to reapply it throughout the day. But since it is literally almost 9 o'clock and I'm about to have to take this off and go to bed, it doesn't really matter. I don't know if y'all already knew this, but I used to not apply mascara to my bottom lashes because I thought it made me look sleepy and weird. But lately I have been just because I feel like it opens up my eyes more. I do have very long bottom lashes. They are longer than my top lashes actually. So it's kind of it's kind of new territory for me. But I have been using bottom lash mascara recently. This brush is so fat, it's hard to do anything with it. So this is clumpy. Every time I blink, it puts mascara under my eyes because my eyelashes are so long. This is really not the mood. I'm just applying some more on top. We looking like some spider legs. So the last step is lip gloss. And I, this is my favorite lip gloss in the world. It is Lust by MAC. And I just put that on my lips. I used to use, this isn't the best time to talk, hold on. I just found my mascara that I normally use. So, um, <laughs> y'all are probably gonna yell at me in the comments if they're even on in this video, but I'm gonna recurl my lashes and apply some Perversion by Urban Decay because it's so good. This mascara is just so good. I'm constantly in Sephora getting new makeup and I asked what's the best for length lengthening and thickening and one of the ladies told me about this mascara and I love it so much. So I am done with my mascara for good now and I used to use a lot of like liquid lips and it was very hard for me to use because my lips are big <laughs> and it was hard to just like line them, get it even, so I always ended up with wonky lips. So I've been a really big gloss girl lately. Obviously I already put on my MAC one, but I'm going to put over it some Marc Jacobs lip gloss and this is just in Pink Parade. It's just so shiny, I love it. Okay, so let's see the final look. I never really let myself judge my makeup until my hair is actually down because I look kind of like a crackhead with my hair up. I kind of look like a crackhead with my hair down too though, so it's just like, got to find that common middle. <laughs> and this is it. Oh, this is my makeup. Um, I think this took me about 20 minutes to do, which is longer than usual to be honest, but I was talking to my camera at the same time, so yeah, it's usually about a 10-15 minute process, and I don't do makeup every day. I usually, I think I would wear makeup like, 
probably three times a week right now because it is summer and I have been swimming a lot. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope y'all can like draw either product or look inspiration from this. This is just like my everyday makeup. I'm not really a beauty guru or anything, so I haven't done any like special looks. Um, I used to wear lashes a lot and I'm finally comfortable with my real eyelashes and that's really like, that means a lot to me because I, I did struggle with trichotillomania as a kid and I used to have no eyelashes and then I started wearing fake eyelashes and I hated my real eyelashes. I thought they were so short, so ugly. I'm finally learning to love them. It sounds kind of ridiculous, but it really is a big step for me. So our look. Can I get a thumbnail picture? That is going to be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'm sorry I've been lacking on the posts. I really, I really just get so unmotivated when I work so hard on videos. And, like no one watches them. <laughs> it's not about views for me. It's about success, and I just know I have to get through the dry parts and so I can be able to have the good parts, if that makes any sense. But I am going to go, I have another video to film because I am on it, I'm on my game. So I will see y'all in the next video. I'm actually about to film a very, 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 very emotional, deep video. So watch out for that. <laughs> I will see y'all in the next video. You better watch it, okay? <laughs> because I have a million subscribers and I can barely get 30,000 views right now. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.